Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a full moon in Libra reading for my dearest Aquarius. Aquarius, this full moon is taking place on April 16th and it happens just after the biggest transit of the year, the Jupiter-Neptune conjunction in Pisces, which most agree there's a tremendous amount of potential for spiritual inspiration, but also mass confusion and delusion. This Libra moon is square Pluto, which means we may all need to face some personal or collective shadows. And we also need to take a look at what is no longer productive and how we can view things from a different angle. We all need to focus right now and have faith. And this Libra full moon asks us to create more peace, beauty, and connection in our lives. All right, my dear Aquarius, let's go ahead and see what messages come through for this full moon in Libra reading. Now, just a little caveat, my full moon and my new moon readings are not exclusively about love, although they certainly can be. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, share, and subscribe. So let's take a look. Clear messages and guidance for my dearest Aquarius at this time. So we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is your energy. So this is a card of letting go of something that you've been clinging on to, a person, a situation, a way of being, a belief. What you're leaving behind, the Page of Wands in reverse. What you're moving towards, the Six of Wands in reverse. What you need to know, the High Priestess. Trust your intuition. Pisces, Cancer energy. What you need to do, Ten of Wands. Very good. Showing up in reverse. It's time to release those burdens. And your final outcome energy, Queen of Pentacles. Stability, balance, patience, finance, financial gain. Your overall energy is the Two of Wands. And in this deck, it's particularly powerful because she's looking at what no longer serves her. And so with this energy of Pluto, this full moon being square Pluto, it's not only doing that shadow work, but it's taking a look at what's no longer productive and how we can view things from a different angle, how we can transmute that energy. The Two of Wands is it's time to let go of something so that we can move forward here, Aqua. So let's go ahead and dig in and see what comes through. With the Four of Pentacles, you are letting go of someone or something. Now, it could be, like I said, a person or a job or a situation or just a way of being. But it's actually, it's a good thing because the Four of Pentacles in reverse takes us back to the Three of Pentacles, which means that you're moving towards something that's more compatible, uh, more in alignment with you. The element of air. Look at that. A new beginning. I feel that, you know, my Aquarius, you know all that you need to know. And we see that here with the high priestess energy as well. You know all that you need to know. And the book of shadows, the hierophant card in the reverse. Yeah, it's time to let go of, I don't know if you're, if you're going through a bit of a, an uncomfortable evaluation of your life, a paradigm shift. Um, you're changing your beliefs. Um, because of some sort of tangible experience, empirical, I don't know, like you've come across some sort of empirical evidence that's allowing you to shift something that you once believed. I just feel with the Hierophant card in reverse, it's like you're no longer doing things the same way. And many of my aquas, you are sort of breaking down any sort of dogma that you may have been carrying around with you, something that you were raised with or something that you've always thought to be true, but now you're opening up to different or other possibilities. So it does feel like a, a powerful awakening. What you're leaving behind is the page of wands in reverse. So I do feel there was a particular situation. Now we do see with the Hierophant card here in reverse, it is possible that some of my aquas, you're leaving a commitment or a connection, maybe even a job, okay, contracts there. Um, but I feel in the past you didn't feel like you had the power to do so. And I feel you've been doing some pretty heavy work on that solar plexus. Um, I'm also seeing here that you're building up the strength and the courage to make the changes that are right for you. 
And we see the four of water in reverse, yeah. So it's almost like you're not going to let this opportunity pass you by. I don't know what that opportunity is. It's gonna be different for all of you, but you know you need to make significant changes here. And with the Hierophant card in reverse, it's like you have to follow your own unique path and journey. And the four of water, you're no longer willing to toe the line. And the ace of air, yeah, you're leaving behind confusion. Some of my aquas, you're realizing something that you were led to believe or you always took at face value or you took to be true, you're realizing it's not. And it could be something that you believed about yourself. Um, it could be that you were in a relationship where you weren't happy, but you felt like, okay, well, this is it. This is, this is all I've ever, you know, this is what I deserve. Or if you weren't making enough money or you weren't, you know, it's, it's something here is like, you're realizing it's like you're, you're, you're burning. It's not like you're burning bridges, but you're burning down out. You're burning out outdated beliefs. Um, and I feel you're really stepping into your power with the six of wands in reverse though. I do see that you're moving towards struggle. So it could be that there are people or there's a situation that doesn't want to let you go. There may also be family members or friends, people that don't understand the choices that you're making. And so you may come across some resistance here, but with the crone of earth, you're doing the right thing. You're nurturing yourself. So we're seeing with the queen of pentacles and the crone of earth, you could be calling in a divine counterpart, finding balance, starting your own business. But I do feel that there's going to be some reactive energy around you. And so this is a reminder, my dear Aquas, to run your own race because people who aren't going to be happy with your decisions or your movement forward, it's just highlighting what maybe they're not happy with within themselves because somebody who's truly balanced and in alignment is going to be happy for you to succeed and to move forward. But those that wish they had the courage to up-level the way that I'm seeing my Aquas up-level in this reading, are of course they're going to express resistance or maybe even try to knock you down so just be aware of that and we see the maiden of fire yeah so I feel that many of my aquas out there with the maiden of fire this came out in the cancerian energy or their reading as well it's about allowing yourself to not be so committed to something or someone that doesn't work for you anymore and, you know, a lot of us, we, you know, we've been taught and it's a good thing to live by is to follow through um, with your commitments. But it's also important to recognize when wisdom has been achieved and something is no longer in alignment with you. And that's what I see going on here. And the, and the mother, um, sorry, the king of pentacles here or the crone of earth is showing me that you're stepping into your power, you're up leveling, um, you're doing what's right for you. What you need to know, the high priestess, is that you can trust your intuition. But I also feel like this is a weird message that you've been training for this for lifetimes is what I'm hearing. I'm also seeing with the high priestess that there's so much going underneath, going on beneath the surface um, that you that this is something that's been actually been on its way. It's been in the works for quite some time. So trust your intuition. You know, there might be moments where you're like, you know, this isn't logical. Um, the three of earth in reverse. Yeah. I feel trust your intuition about situations that are no longer building you up. There's something here they keep saying to me, liminal space. And so the liminal space can be, for example, that space right before we're about to go to sleep or right when we wake up. That some of my aquas, you're in this very sort of in-between energy. Um, and so trust the messages that you're receiving either in the dream space or when you're in this liminal space about what isn't meant for you. Okay, because I do feel that some of you, you know, there could be a group of people. Um, and again, I don't know if it's it's a family situation, it's friends, it's coworkers, um, it's just people weighing in on your life and your decisions. I feel like there's a little bit of gossip and a little bit of negative energy that I'm picking up on. Um, and I feel like it's so important that you not only protect your energy, but continue to do what's right for you because I'm getting this energy of, I don't know if it's, if it's parasitic energy or if it's just people who are going to be triggered by your up leveling um, and to not let that sort of stop you on the path that you're on aqua and we get yeah look at that libra energy this libra full moon karmic justice is on its way in and i feel that you're going to see lower vibrational people in situations just sort of dropping away but i do see in this card um, you know, there may be some of these lower vibrational energies that are still trying to hold on to you, like I was just saying, but I also feel that you're integrating your shadow self here. Um, so you're coming into balance and this is what's creating this major up leveling for you. 
Um, what you need to do, Ten of Wands, it is time to release responsibilities. It's time to shift timelines. And this is quite a, a powerful image here with her dress on fire. Um, a lot of you, there's a relationship, maybe even a marriage, um, that's breaking down. Um, and some of you, you're divorcing yourself from ideas or a, a tradition that you were raised in or a belief system that you've held about yourself that was keeping you from, again, being your highest expression of yourself. So I love this. This is a passionate new beginning. The Ten of Earth in reverse, a lot of tens showing up. Again, a lot of you, this... One of my favorite readers always called this running away with the circus, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is about doing things that are right for you. And this seems to be a theme in this in this full in these full moon readings is okay, something here needs to end because it's dimming my light or it's keeping me stagnant or depleted. It may be something that once gave you a lot of comfort and stability, but again, it's like a major paradigm shift. And you're ready for this new beginning. Aries energy telling you, look, we have Aries and Libra in energy. So many of you, you know, you are on a soulmate connection. Sorry, soulmate or twin flame journey. Um, you're calling in a divine counterpart here after letting go of someone or something else. It's about continuing on your path and trusting that this new beginning is something that has been waiting for you for quite some time, Aqua. The Queen of Pentacles, your final outcome advice energy is to go slow, to watch, to wait. You're meant for this. You were built for this. Seven of Air, that yin-yang energy, a beautiful nod to twin flames, soulmates, but also you integrating your light and your shadow aspects. I love the I love this little nod also to the I Ching there um, is if I'm not mistaken, but that's what they're showing me the importance of, you know, this is your destiny. This is good fortune coming your way. Um, this is about you achieving balance. But first you needed to see what was holding you back or what was keeping you stagnant or depleted. And we get the element of earth spirits telling you to trust you have been prepared for this. You are prepared for this. The element of earth in reverse is like sometimes this hesitation, like, I don't know, is this right? Because you're making some sort of major departure from you fill in the blanks, whatever this is that you're leaving behind. Um, and spirit's telling you don't let that energy or that belief that you can't do this or it's too wild or... If it's in alignment with you, Aqua, Spirit's telling you to go for it. Wow. And we get the star card, Aquarius energy. This is you coming into alignment. You're ready for forward movement. You're ready for this new life. You're ready for this new love. You're ready to embrace this healing and this major shift after a very uncomfortable evaluation here. Um, and, you know, prayers are being answered. And this is something that I'm seeing has been lined up for you since before you got here and I love this Libra and Aries energy because for some of my aquas maybe you've been single for a long time you've been calling in incompatible partners or you were in a very unhappy connection um, and I feel that karma is being purged and released you're healing and you're calling in whatever this is and for some of you absolutely it's a soulmate twin flame so let's see star mother how can you mother yourself there's that queen of pentacles energy it's time to nurture you, Aqua. It's time for you to put yourself first. I feel that you've been focused on nurturing other people, connections, um, and now, now is the time for you. All right, it's time to take this leap of faith. There's that full energy. You go first. The universe will catch you. So stepping into that, even though you're a fixed sign, I was hearing cardinal energy, um, which is Libra energy. Libra is cardinal energy. So is Aries. But that's about stepping into a leadership role and taking matters into your own hands. Remember that you control your destiny and get grounded. So many of you, you're empaths, you're highly sensitive. It's important that you connect with nature as you go through these shifts and these changes because you are in the process of aligning your life. So whenever I see this image, I always see my aquas out there. You're doing some soul retrieval and what was fractured or what wasn't working for you was actually creating more stress and, you know, um, delays and frustrations. So whatever is not aligned needs to change. And I think a lot of you know exactly what that might be, right? A job, a relationship, maybe a combination of things, the way you treat your body, the energy that you allow into your life. You know, that can be music. What music are you listening to, Aqua? Um, you know, what foods are you putting into your body? Are you hydrating? Now is the time to really, you know, with this Libran energy, it's about finding peace, beauty, connection, and balance, okay? So let's see what other messages come through for you. 
We see house four, that's Cancerian energy, cultural and family roots, home, peace, and comfort. So finding peace, finding home within yourself, no longer looking for it outside of you. Um, but I also love that, those two eggs in the nest. I feel that for many of you, there's a powerful connection. Soulmate energy, and remember that doesn't have to be romantic. That can be with your children, your friends, your pets, your family members, your coworkers, you name it, your neighbors. Um, but I also feel like this is you, this energy of being protected and nurtured. Cancerian energy again, that star mother energy. And Jupiter, yeah, this transit that we've just come through that's still affecting us. Um, you are growing and expanding, so please be kind to yourself, stay grounded at this time. I don't know about you guys out there, but for me, I've had this, you know, it's been kind of like walking through water in these last couple of weeks, um, and it, it, it's full on that Jupiter-Neptune conjunction in Pisces, but it's also bringing us the spiritual inspiration um, mutable energy, so surrender, fluidity, and welcoming change. So again, Aqua, not by nature, you are quite, you're fixed. And we see this, this cardinal energy of I want to step up and take the lead and move forward. But Spirit's also telling you to drop into this mutable energy and surrender to the flow as well. You know, make your life easier, nurture yourself. The universe is going to provide. And we get this beautiful earth energy. Something here is growing Roses may be an important sign for you at this time. Your persistence, patience, and practicality is going to pay off for you in a very big way in bringing in this wish fulfillment. And there you are, open-mindedness, objectivity, and learning. So this is absolutely in alignment with you. What's going on here, Aquas? What a beautiful message here. Powerful shifts taking place. There's a lot of growth and expansion you know, as you release sort of the old way of doing things. Let's see what energies and beings would like to come through and support my Aquarius at this time. We have Lakshmi, fortune. So you are ending something, number 28, calling in beautiful fortune, abundance. And remember, abundance means different things for all of us, right? It can be love, it can be passion, it can be rest. Um, and, and of course, it can be material abundance as well. Kuan Yin, so be compassionate. We see this need for you to take a more sort of tender a touch and approach to yourself, um, to mother yourself. And also if you're building a business or if it's a new relationship coming into your life, you know, nurture it, um, allow it to grow, allow it to grow in, in the dark outside of, you know, prying eyes before, you know, you come out with it um, so that it can be, you know, it can grow organically and isn't as affected by you know, external uh, circumstances or influences and assurance. Be assured that what is meant for you, Aqua, it will never be taken from you, all right? And we get Persephone, inexperience, okay? So we see that. So I do feel that there's there have been some difficult experiences that you've had to grow and expand through, but I feel like this is that up-leveling. I also feel with Persephone, too, it's, it's important that you do take a beginner mind to whatever this is you are doing because you're closing out a cycle with that 10 of wands um, and now it's time to start over and take that beginner mind. Trust yourself. Believe that there's a learning curve. Don't be too hard on yourself, but absolutely um, oh, be open to the blessings and abundance that are coming your way because this is something that you've manifested and the divine is orchestrating it for you. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, I am going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Aquarius.